Hey, what's going on guys? Matt here from Addicted to Duels and I'm on site today. So I thought I would uh, take you through the new M18 Angler. It's a polyester fish tape from Milwaukee and they've just been released in Australia. They've been in the US for maybe a year now, but I thought I would take you through it. So let's have a look. So it's gonna be a straightforward install today, um, what most guys would probably use it for. As you can see, we've got a conduit here, basically goes up, this is gonna be for NBN, goes up, goes into a 90 degree bend there. Continues over, the run is about 20 meters. Comes up to another 90, comes down the wall into another 90 and outside. So we'll set it up and get some footage. So it's pretty straightforward. You've got the triggers, which is forward and back, just like on any drill, really. And all you've got to do is throw that into the conduit and pull the trigger. It is varial speed, so the more you pull the trigger, just like any drill, it'll go faster or slower. All right, so that's it, it's come out pretty easy. So I'll just tie on a bit of cable and we'll see how good the uh, pulling power is. So it's obviously the same thing, but in reverse, put it in um, reverse. There you go, nice and easy. All right, so after that practical application, I figured I would try to give it a bit of a weight test. So as you can see, I've got a piece of uh, 40 mil conduit there on the ground. I've got a 10 kilo weight and I've got the fish tape all hooked up and we'll see if it can pull up 10 kilos. Um, I've also got a, another 2.5, 5 kilo and a 10 kilo. So we'll see how much it can pull. All right, basically we'll put it in the reverse. fairly easy obviously uh, you've got to hold hold the weight but um works quite easy let's jack up the weight all right so as you can see five kilo 10 kilo plate 15 kilos let's see how it goes definitely working it's obviously going to start burning the inside of the um, conduit but it's pulling it up fairly well it's taking a lot of pressure for me to um, hold it but it's definitely working do it one more time So round three, get rid of that one. We've got two 10 kilo, so that's 20 kilos all up. Let's go. See how this uh, conduit actually holds up. I've got some large screws in it, but it's fairly heavy. So 
does it almost just as easy. Go again. So that's the 20 kilos. Did really well. Conduit, not so well. Starting to burn through there. But um, yeah, not bad, not bad. We might uh, throw a bit more weight on my... All right, so 25 kilos. Let's go. There you go, so 25 kilos. I actually didn't um, reverse that just then, so it pulled back. We'll go again. So I'd say that's at the limit. Um, that's obviously not good for the uh, motor, but that's what we're here for to test this thing out and see what it's capable of. So it's still going good. No problems, which is great. That was 25 kilos going through 40 mil plastic conduit. As you can see, if you're uh, pulling that hard, then you've definitely got a problem. Unless you've got a steel conduit, obviously. So I'm pretty happy with that so far. What I might show you last is going through some 20 mil conduit. Because obviously earlier that was 25 mil conduit um, going through three bends, three 90 degree bends. I'll show you with the 20 mil. Um, I tried it yesterday and it's a bit of a struggle to get through. So it's definitely something to take in mind, um, whether it's going to be changing to the steel um, cable. And um, yeah, let's have a look, I'll show you. All right, so all I've got here is a 20 mil piece of conduit with a 90 degree bend. We'll put that on. And so with the polyester reel, you can see it's a fairly large end, um, which makes it good for a lot of applications. But with this, if we go through this way, it gets fairly hard to get around that bend. It does get around it, but as you get more and more of these, it gets harder and harder, and I'll um, take you out and show you. So the fish tape obviously went through the 25 mil earlier really easily with uh, three bends on it. I've just got a 20 mil now, one bend, two bend, and then the end, they're just normal length piece of conduits. And if we throw it through, throw it straight through. Got through the first one. So it's up to the second one. So at this point, you won't be able to force it with the actual fish tape itself. I'm getting through. definitely struggling so at this point you're basically using this as a normal fish tape so keep that in mind it's definitely not going through all right so what I'm gonna do I've got the other polyester reel the non battery powered one so we'll see if this one works a bit easier because as you can see it's actually got a rubber bit which is a little bit as you can see a little bit smaller than the other one around that other bend. So I'll just show you. If we take this end off, there it is. 
So that went around a lot easier than the battery powered. Which is very um, interesting. Not sure why they've gone that different end. So if we pull that back. What we might try is the steel one. This is a 50 footer. So this is what you can get for the 18 volt. What you actually have, I haven't shown you this yet, that pulls out and that's your actual reel itself. So you can swap this for the steel one. So if you do get the steel reel, which I wouldn't mind giving a go, it should be the same size as this. Which we'll see, I can't remember, I did do a video on this quite a while ago, which you can go back and have a look at. We're at the other one, the other bend. There you go. Straight around, really easy. So there it is. So, yeah, that's the 50 footer. That's one of my favorite ones. It's so small, it can actually fit into your tool bag. It's no good if you're doing longer than 50 foot runs though, obviously. We'll give, may as well give this another go. Goes around that first corner quite easy. So as you can see, it must be actually coiling up inside because the reel is moving. You can hear that clicking noise. Give you a closer look. The reel is moving, but the actual tape isn't. So it's obviously stuck on that other end and it's coiling up inside, which isn't good. Put it in reverse. Is sort of kinking it a bit. I'll see if I can get around that other corner. No good. So you're probably wondering what my overall thoughts are on the performance of the M18 Angler and it's sort of hit and miss for me. Uh, the power is absolutely awesome for pulling. As you saw it pulled up that uh, 25 kilos worth of weights with no worries but the main downside I see is the actual head itself on the polyester version. I believe it too, is too large for the smaller conduits. Um, I haven't seen the specs for what size conduits they recommend it for, but a lot of guys are using 20 mil. Um, I would expect it for 16 mil maybe, but it does cruise through 25 mil very easily. Um, I would want an interchangeable head maybe for the smaller conduits, especially if you're paying four to $500 Australian for one of these, it is quite pricey um, and you would have to justify it. But obviously, if they do have the steel reels, as I showed you before, this comes out, swaps with the steel version, and if it is the size of the smaller fish tape, um, that'll be a great uh, choice for a lot of you guys that are doing the smaller conduit. So remember that's out there or if they did have an interchangeable head or just a whole nother reel which does have the plastic bit and the smaller head because that did get around the 25 mil uh the 20 mil sorry uh, i'm not sure how it would go with 16 mil might start get uh, you might start to push it a bit there but that would be a good option so hopefully milwaukee do look into that um i'll be giving their feedback about that but it definitely is a cool piece of kit. I'll be using it out in the field a lot more um, and I'll see how it goes basically. And I'll get the uh, reviews from all the other guys I work with. But that's it guys. And if you've made it this far, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. And also hit me up in the comments what your thoughts are on this. Is it too expensive? Do you think you would buy it? And what do you think of the interchangeable head idea? 
Also, hit me up for any other new tool reviews that you want to see. And that's it, guys. Thanks.